All right, and once we're familiar with the fundamentals, now let's work on a small challenge where you can try to reset the list yourself. So set up a dispatch and handle the action in the reducer. And once you're ready to compare the results, resume with the video. So I'm going to navigate to use reducer. Basically, I'm looking for reset the list instead of something. I'll use my variable. And what is that? Well, that is reset list. Awesome. I'm pretty sure I can remove this one as well as the previous one here. And then let's just scroll up. And inside of the reducer, right after my clear list, I'll set up the reset one. Now, please keep in mind, in this case, order does not matter if I place it before or after clear list. I simply want to check Again, for action, I think in order to speed this up, I'll just copy and paste. We're not checking for clear list. We want to go with reset. So now notice how nice it is that we have that variable, which right away grabs me that string. And instead of returning empty, I'll just set it equal to data. That's all we have to do. Again, let's refresh so we don't have the errors in the console. And let's just try it out. Yep, it's empty. And once we click on reset, we set it back to data array.